Don't worry, cats also do dramatic scenes. But, wait, you asked me how did I learn your tongue? Yes, there's only a few bilingual humans. The ones that I've met have been counted with the pads of my left paw. I was told there was a woman in this building who spoke five years ago, but that was a lie. She just speaks on her speech to speak. You mean Lupita, the Mexican Yes. But she does speak five languages. She's a journalist. She works for Reuters. Her English can be barely understood, and she has a Latin American ranch accent that seems she learned in Texas. Um, how many languages do you speak? Uh, patch of German. A little out of practice. There aren't that many elephants in London or in Edinburgh. But when the circus comes, there are, but I don't like to speak to them because they have pretty depressing lives and true business. Sevson, a very diplomatic language with dolphins, whales. He and I, it's basic, you're lost if you don't know it. Mm, reptilian, a really empty and very emotional language. I want to learn marsupial because I want to go to Australia. The language of the insects and the overrated human language. You mean English? No. No, 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 no. The human language. Bye. You're the ones who... You're the ones who made communication this complex problem. It's me. It's unique. All humans are born with the capability of speaking the language. And yet all these imaginary boundaries. Imaginary boundaries? Political, economic, aesthetic frontiers. All imagined and all unnecessary. And now you can't communicate with each other. To put it plainly, all humans have the capability of learning the human language. It doesn't matter if you're from Denmark and predisposed to learn Danish, from Greece and predisposed to learn Greek, or you in English. You can all learn the language. Are you saying that I could establish communication with Lupita the journalist, even if I don't speak Spanish? Yes, because you speak the human language. You could talk with... Sorry? You could talk with... You could talk with Lupita the Journalist, Alice Munro, Kavriki Murakami, Angela Merkel, or Vladimir Putin. Well, with Putin you might have a bit more trouble understanding him. Look, tell me, what, what, what's your name? I don't need one. I, I don't have one. No, of, co of course you need one. Well, what if I want to try and find you amongst all the other cats of the neighbourhood? I'm not going to go down the street shouting, Little cat, little cat, come to Julian, and then start... I bet she'd like that. Oh wait, I think I've heard you purring before with that boyfriend of yours. Well, if you really need one, you can call me Jordan. Okay, um, that, yeah, that's great, Jordan. Now that you are totally prepared. Now that you're totally prepared to understand the feline language, it's time I told you the plan. What's your commission to do? What you're commissioned to do. What am I commissioned to do? Mom. The cat won't speak to me, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very tired. That's fine. Eight to twelve, living yeah. here in your flat because... I'm living here in your flat because I have to tell you a transcendental message. From whom? It's kind of complicated to understand if you're not an insider. You'll have to wait to understand the whole thing. An insider? It, this sounds like a demonic sect. But you're a cat. Oh, what is happening to me? Maybe. Maybe I'd be drugged. Oh my god. Such a cliche. Why do humans always think that, they, that they're high when they encounter a speaking animal? My intention here is to tell you the transcendental message. You're a necessary piece in this process. And I'm going to give you the induction. Why did you choose me? You speak the language of time. Nowadays it's very difficult to find humans who speak the language of time. What do you mean, the language of time? You know perfectly well what I mean. What do you want me to do? <sighs> meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. 
You'll have to get the Hope Diamond. It's one of the most ancient jewels in the world. At the moment, it's in a museum in Washington. But before that, it passed by a number of wealthy people who bought it. Millionaire bankers, industrials, kings. It was in the United States, the UK, France, and India. But it doesn't belong to humankind. It belongs to Earth. Its history encompasses billions of years. You must obtain it, return it to Earth, to where it came from, to re-establish the course of time. OK, OK. So, so I should travel to India, get the Hope Diamond, and return it to Earth. No, no, you, it's not that you should, you must. You see, it was cut and converted from the French blue to hide it, and then it was cut again to transform it into the Hope Diamond to hide it, but it's time it comes home. Why was it hiding? Because if it falls into the wrong hands, it could be catastrophic events. It sounds very dangerous. Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> Great enterprises entail great risks. For us, it would be terrible if you, for example, died in the process. Imagine how complicated it would be to find another human who speaks the language of time. But how am I going to obtain it? All you have to do is get involved with the right people, and everything will follow. Wait. Did you say if I die in the process? For somebody who speaks the language of time, you're very impatient. It's not particularly probable that you'll die, and it's time I give you the details. And then my daddy comes. Who's that? Do you have something to do with this cell? Who's there? Julian, I'm coming for your mother. You're crazy, you're giving me a heart attack. Julian, open the door. Don't just stand around here. Open the door and let him in. I'm in here. We need him. What? Get the door. I'm being gentle. Uh, hi there. Sorry, I was... I was just... Yes, yes, yes. And where's your mother? She's just there. But Dad, don't wait for me. It'd be very cruel. Cruel? Cruel is that she intends to spend the night partying. Claire, wake up. Claire, we're going home. Have you been drinking with your mother? Be at peace with him. What? I said! Have you been drinking with your mother? Be at peace with him. Tell him this. In, a, in Northwestern University, they found that wine helps the production of estrogen to promote bones healthiness. And in California University, scientists found that silica in beer can promote the strength in bones. <laughs> the doctor told me she was at risk of postmenopausal osteoporosis. What? Comfort and tell him that your mother will be fine. Will she be fine? I'm not an orthopedist, but I think she'll be fine. She'll be fine, Dad. Look, we'll, we'll take care of her and she'll be fine. Do you think so? Ask him for a job. What? Tell him you thought things through very carefully and that you need his help. Uh, Dad, I'm not an orthopedist, but I think she'll be fine. Listen, I've, I've thought about that help that you offered me, and I think I need it. I knew it! I knew you'd stop acting arrogantly and start acting reasonably. Don't you dare say anything but yes. Yes, Dad, I've been very arrogant. But I won't be anymore. And will you get involved in the business? Certainly, and you want to make a liaison in the States. It's certainly, and look, I, I've thought to enter into the US market to increase our sales. America, eh? Well, this is a nice surprise, Julian. I didn't think of you as an international planner. But tell me, how do you intend to solve the importing and manufacturing problem? Manufacturing will be done in Bangalore. And considering the brick phenomenon, manu manufacturing in Bangalore would be a great strategy to help our business. India! In Bangalore? 
Look, I've considered the advantages of that city, and I find it's a great opportunity for us to move our business here. We know most other businesses are just shipping their offices in. I don't want to go to Bangalore. Relax, you finished earlier. This is massive, Julian. Yes. Um, but tell me, uh, I see I've been a bright future in the business. But tell me, what's your next step in the business plan? So? I thought it was obvious. Washington? Uh, Washington, Dad. Washington. Of course! There we have Elliot Schwartz as a contact. Oh, he could help us with corporate sales presentations. Yeah, and if we made him a partner, he'd be more committed. He's always shown an interest in different sectors. Sure, yes, he's very interested in diversification. Mm -hmm. Hurrah for the return of my son. Welcome on board. I'll see you at the office at 9 on Monday. Since I came out, he never spoke to me in a happy mood again. Not to mention any kind of physical contact, like patting my shoulder. Well, you've made peace with your dad and now you're stepping forward in your mission in life. But. Look, tell me, how am I supposed to travel to India, obtain the, uh, the Hope Diamond, and this business with my dad and school? Don't you see, you're a student of hospitality and tourism. That means you have to travel to become a great professional. You're not very cultured, so you'd struggle with your first Arab or Indonesian customer. Dad? Ah, Julian. It was nice to talk to you again. Aside from the, the business element, I we had a good conversation. Thanks, thanks, Dad. I'm I'm delighted and so relieved. I love you. Well, well, yes. <laughs> well, enough of this drama. Um, I forgot your mother was there. Uh, she can come. I'll pick her up tomorrow. She can stay there tonight. I'll pick her up for brunch. You can come with us. If you want. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks, sir. Brunch puts me in a, in a really good mood. Good night, Dad. I'm really emotional here. <laughs> My life is changing because of... I can't. No, your life is changing because it's a path that was originally planned out for you. Just like that? Is it that easy? Finding yourself is not easy. Sometimes it takes lives. However, not everything is solved. We're missing a step before Washington. France. Good idea. fun in driving the most desired car in Europe if you don't even want to go with me. It's not that, Julian. So? You have to go to work. No, today I don't have to. But that's the point in owning my own business. That's why I'm my own boss. That's not the way you're going to win your clients' respect. Cancelling your appointments is going to ruin the career you should be constructing. You're doing nothing productive with your life. Nothing. What happened to the entrepreneurial, enterprising boy I met? I'm 60. I'm retired. I can do that. You're young. 
you're at the beginning of your career. Exactly, because I'm young. That's why I should be enjoying my life, enjoying my youth with my lover. Look, how many times in life do you think we have the opportunity of being immensely happy with love personified? I want romance. And all you think about is an office, a job, and a career. How much time have we waited to find our soulmates? But this lifestyle isn't real. But it's royal. Look, we should surrender to our love in a capital of fashion and glamour, where theatre is a lifestyle. Look, hold on, Stefan, and let's go down to London in this marvellous car. We'll be free and on the road. Tell him you want to go to Saint Tropez! You must stop doing that. What? what? Talking to me like that without warning. Forget London, you have to go to Saint Tropez. Julian, if you don't want to talk to me, then we're not conversation ends with we're not going to London. Or at least I'm not. Where is Saint Tropez? And he's a student of hospitality and tourism. So sorry, where is Saint Tropez? Where does that come from? And what are you doing travelling with that stupid cat? It's in the French Riviera, a paradise in the Mediterranean. It's it's my pet. What's wrong with travelling with him? Your pet? I mean, um, this cat is my, my mentor, my friend. This cat is like my confidant. God, with that furry chest, you could be my boyfriend. Are you, are you all right, Julie? Yes, it's just... I talk with the cat. It's not that he answers me, it's just... You know, when I need to reflect, I, I talk to him. And he's very intelligent. It's a like poet. Mm -hmm. You can always find him in the library. Look, what I meant was, we should go to Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez. Look, we should surrender to our love in a warm land where bougainvilleas grow. Hold strong, Stefan. Let's go down that road. The road that sets us free. Julian, you're trying to live like a fighter, a millionaire lifestyle. Saint-Tropez, when did you get that idea into your head? In Washington. In Washington, you meet some people with whom you start a business in Saint-Tropez. In Washington, I, I met some people who we could start a business with in Saint-Tropez. It's a great place for a, a scenic route, uh, a luxury route. Look, it's time to think global. Look, I know that there would be so many couples who would die to take a holiday like that. Look, most tourists go to the most popular cities, but what if we sell them the journey of a lifetime? The romantic one. To the place where Bridget Bardot used to go. A paradise for honeymooners. This idea might work, but how are you going to finance it? Mixed resources from the business incubators and from the partners. I'm thinking of meeting the people from Washington in Saint Tropez. I can see that coming. Don't worry, and I would be happy to help. <sighs> Lucky me. You know, this idea might just work. You've got to come with me. No, he must come with me. He's a vital part of the process. Do you know what? I'm just shocked with your sudden changes. I can't possibly go. I haven't planned it. And you'll be working. Tell him you want to go to Cambridge and then to Paris. Are you crazy? He's in shock because of my sudden changes. He doesn't want to make the trip in the first place. People always want to go to the place where they've left parts of themselves. What do you mean? Trust me. Say Cambridge and Paris. Look. I would really appreciate it if the love of my life went with me. Look, things are different when you're there, and I thought we could make a long trip and make strategic stops, for example, in Cambridge and in Paris. Cambridge? Yes. Look, I'd love to relive and revive part of your life there with you. I wish with all my heart to be with you in Cambridge so you can tell me about the places where you were and where you lived. You're convincing me. 
And I just a really appropriate moment to tell them that you have to go in the Ferrari. It's important. And, and then you have to get a transportation company to bring you there. But it's okay. Uh, you can use shippers because they're British. Stop! You're turning this into Mission Impossible. Now we have to take the car. Relax. You've got them in the palm of your hand. You can do whatever you want. And then you can have your revenge. I'm not completely sure about revenge at this point. I wanna go sail. Mm -hmm. 